Hey everybody, welcome to my 2021 craft room tour. So here I am standing at the door and I thought I'd give you a quick little pan of the room before we go into detail. So I have a cabinet, a desk, a uh, rolly cart, and then a cube unit. So we are going to start at the desk. This is an overview of my desk. So this is the top section here. I have a hutch desk. Um, when I was starting my craft room makeover, kind of renovation. Um, I really wanted a desk that had a hutch so I could put lots of things on the desk that weren't actually on the desk. So what I've got, I'll just walk forward for you. I have a couple of decorative elements. So I have just this little girl and then a candle. Then I have my memory decks um, roller. I just like to have it on my desk because it's really pretty. <laughs> uh, then I have this little panda cup that has some colored pencils in it and then I have this gold container that has um, paint markers, pens, pencils, just kind of all those things that I need to draw. This is my new storage for my ephemera that has been opened. If it's unopened it's in a different spot but it's, it's opened it's in here. So this is a container from Spotlight and it has six containers inside so it's sorted into different collections so I'll grab it out and show you. Okay so here's the container so basically I've got like sunny days and like bright in here and then I have like dark stuff in here so this is like heritage and a couple of things from a reject store collection which is kind of like like that vintagey look. And then I have this one which is um kind of more like summery sorry springy stuff so what I have is like summer winter spring and then this is like more springy stuff but more with like a green color then I've got a spare chipboard pieces and then a blank one this is where I'm going to put vellum in I just have it so I have a create sign um I had that sign for probably five or six years now and I painted it that color when I first got it and I just hate that color now so i We'll be getting around to repainting it eventually. Then I have just another decor piece, which is a, a pot plant, a little cat thing, and then a big star. If we move down here, this is the first cabinet of the hutch. So in here I have this white container. The white container is all of my dyes. So this is what it looks like. It's just got all my dyes in um, clear packages. I can do a close-up for you guys if you're interested in that. This sits there because I found that when it wasn't in front of me, I wasn't using my dyes. Like, I would just avoid using them. Then in the gold container, I have all of my sewing materials. So, my thread, my pins, um, spare bobbins, the, like, pick, pick tool, just all different things for my sewing machine. Then I have this notepad here. This is where I write down uh, video ideas and swap ideas. Um, swaps for Happy Mail. I have my art journal and then my crocodile. I love having my art journal here because I'm using it more often. I used to have it in my bookcase and I would barely ever actually use it. Now that it's there, I see it and I go, oh, I should probably use that. So what I'm trying to do is put things here that I want to use or things that I do always use. And I do use my crocodile constantly that's why it's here. Here we are on the other section. So I have a wire basket and inside of it is my 100 day project and my album from when I went to New Zealand. Um, the New Zealand one is not finished. That's why it is there. The 100 day project, I just think it looks pretty. I love the leather, so that's why I put it there. Um, I am in the process of filming a flip through of that. There will be one that is just zero talking and just a flip through and then there will be a talky one. Then in these two containers, they are from Ikea, the green one and the grey one, they have uh, the current kind of stuff I'm wanting to use. So I'll grab them out and show you. In the grey one, I just have flowers that I've die cut out. I had like a big four hour session where I just cut out a whole bunch of flowers using the, I think it's a Cricut die. Or is it a thinlet? It's a, it's a Sizzix die. It's a Sizzix thinlet die. So I just cut out heaps. And then in this one here I have little, um, just different stuff. So like this is a die from AliExpress that has a word on it. Then I have like this random piece that I was using and then random pieces of chipboard and these little words that I made. I do need to restock some of these because I only have a couple left. 
and then some wax seals that were sent to me. So that one just sits there because I like to use it up. I also have the Marigold Ephemera because I was using Marigold, but I've now, I'm using a different collection, so I do need to then move this into my ephemera storage. And there I also keep my most commonly used glue, so that is just a tacky glue, and then behind it is a blue, like a blue stick, they're like glue sticks. Um, I also keep my ruler here just so it's right on hand. I did lose it for about two weeks because it had accidentally slid under the metal container, so I do need to keep an eye on that. Then if we move across, I have these three jars. So one jar is with really small pom-poms, they're about five mil, I absolutely love them. And then the other one is, um, uh, they're 10 mil, so one centimeter pom-poms just in a container. The middle one is where I keep my sequence mix, which is what I'm using at the time. Oh, you can see my head in the background, hello. It's the sequence mix, which I just finished using last night, so I'll be making a new sequence mix and putting it in there. Behind there is this little storage tray from Kmart. It's in the bathroom section. I just loved the wooden feel that I thought it would go with my craft room when I bought it. In the bottom container is flowers, so just a big selection of flowers. I used to use those constantly, and I don't use them as much. And then this one is where I keep my spare glue sticks, um, kind of like the ones that I'm using. I have another place where I keep extras. And then in this one is my uh, roller stamps because I never use them. So that's why they're sitting there to make me use them. They're on the main section of the desk. So I just have my hot glue gun sitting here because I constantly use it. Then in the middle here, I have a little tray from Ikea that keeps the tools that I use fairly regularly. So I have a large pair of scissors, a medium pair of scissors, and then a teeny tiny pair of scissors. I also have my three sets of pliers. So there's a round nose, a needle nose, and then uh, like wire cutters. I have my dotting tool, my silicon brush, foam tape, double-sided tape, a sharpener, and then in there I have a bracelet. I'm not entirely sure why it's there. I think when I moved seven months ago, I put it there not to lose it and I've just never moved it back. And I also have a stapler. The stapler, I don't use that regularly. I just couldn't figure out where else I wanted to put it. If we pan over, my sewing machine is permanently on my desk. I use this constantly. It's probably my favorite tool that I've ever bought. Yes, it was an investment, it was about $200 but I use it all the time and I had been borrowing my grandmother's sewing machine before I bought it so I'm really glad that I invested in that so I keep it on my desk because I use it all the time it's actually permanently plugged in it's just turned off so all I have to do is grab it pull it out and then it's there I have my lamp here I'll just turn the light off I have my lamp here. This is a rose gold lamp. It's from Big W and the light bulb is a white light bulb. That's how I like to have like a white background in my videos. I have this, uh, it's like a vinyl glitter bow that was given to me in a swap. So I just tied it around there because I thought it looked cute. And then with my hot glue gun, I have this silicon mat. This is from Kmart. I cut it in to a quarter because like, it was really big and I wanted it to match. I do want to go buy a new one because they do sell it in pink and I think it will look a lot nicer with my desk. This is the under section of my desk. I have my foot pedal for my sewing machine and my bin. I haven't emptied my bin because I thought I'd show you what it realistically looks like all the time because I am really lazy about emptying my bin. Another feature of this desk that I really liked was that it had a drawer but it also had a cabinet. So I'm going to show you the cabinet first. Inside of the cabinet there's a shelf and then a big large area. In the shelf is where I keep my cutting mat for my Cricut. Then I have a container of 12 by 12 paper. That is 12 by 12 paper that hasn't been used so it's no scraps or anything. Underneath there is my 12 by 12 gold glitter paper and then underneath that is my 12 by 12 craft paper. I love using craft particularly with all the new Maggie collections like Marigold and uh, I know Heritage isn't new but that one looks really good too and then Garden Party I think they look really nice with craft paper so very happy. Then if you pan down I have my die cutting machine. This is a die cutting machine from Spotlight. I think it's cool. I think the brand is Crafter's Choice. Yes, it is. It's Crafter's Choice. So I think it's great. I've never had any problems with it and it was only, I think, $80. Um, I didn't buy it. It was a present for me, but love it. I also have some foam here that I just use for die cutting, not very often. 
This is where I store all my beads, so I'll grab them out and give you a quick overview. The first container is all my resin flowers. This container is from eBay. I got it about four or five years ago, and all of these pieces are from eBay, except for this giant blue flower. Um, it comes with divider slots, so you can make them as big or as little as you want. I made them this large, and I have them color sorted, as you can see. Then this next container, I believe this is from the Reject store. This one also has the movable dividers. These are my wire-wrapped beads that I've kind of color sorted. I have been using them up a lot, so I do need to go and replenish this and make a whole bunch of other ones. Little container, which is from eBay, it holds all of my pins. So I have um, just the flat pin and then the eye pin. I have eye pins in a short size. I have the flat pins in a short size and the flat pins in a long size. I also have them in silver, but I barely use them in silver. And I also have some spare eyelets because the where I store my eyelets wasn't enough room but I will need to replenish those because they are getting very low soon. These next two containers are from Daiso and they hold a lot of my beads. So a lot of my beads are from like $2 stores here in Australia or from AliExpress. These beads are from Kmart, they're from a $2 store, Kmart, Kmart, $2 store, $2 store, $2 store, $2 store, Riot, $2 store, $2 store, $2 store, $2 store, $2 store and the Rebox store. So I do really like these and I like how they're color sorted. I find it a lot easier to pick what I want. This container is kind of a hodgepodge of random stuff that I wasn't sure what to do with it. So I've got black sequins, mold guild sequins, heart sequins, um, some tiny little beads, some blue sequins, clear sequins, capped. Um, they're from Kmart, they're from Kmart. This is like a ocean mix that I got. Um, Brad's. In here is the washes that come with a lot of the eyelets that I buy. I also have seed beads and then some um, like tapestry thread or embroidery th thread. Sorry. Tapestry thread or embroidery thread. Uh, just sometimes I make tassels with them. And then I also have these beads which are from Riot Art and Craft. I have another container of beads. I have no idea where the container is from. The container is about 10 years old. It has had multiple different purposes and it's still going so amazing. Um, these are just some beads that are color sorted. These, these here, they're from a big container from Spotlight. I think it was only $10 and I still have about three quarters left and I've also gifted a lot. So amazing deal there. I've got some book bookends or book corners, whatever they're called, some more seed beads, some pearls, obviously fake pearls, um, some really little beads, and then some wooden beads here. This container is kind of the one that I am using up currently. I have this container, which is from a $2 store. It's filled with just lots of random knickknacks. So I've got jingle bells, um, jump rings, some chain, Christmas charms, uh, these are like faux leather hearts, tassels, these are actually buttons, not that, these are buttons and they're like little flowers but I thought they'd be really cute as like a charm thing, let's see if it's going to focus, no it's not, uh, then I have these tiny little bow rhinestone things, some glittered pegs, some some safety pins, some silver charms, uh, like little bulldoggy clips, and then these giant letters as well. Love, faux leather hearts, faux leather bows, and then some random charms and brads that I just don't use anymore, so I probably should get rid of them. And then Lucky Last is my container of charms. This is also a container that I've had for like 10 years, um, and it's still yet yeah, really sturdy, so I love it. So I've got Flowers, stars, hearts, more hearts, more hearts, butterflies, they're from Riot, every other charm is from Ally, um, they're like sequin balls, stars, little lollipops, little crowns, and then some beads because I wasn't sure where else to put them so I put them in here. I love storing my charms like this, I used to have them in a different way and I kind of had this collection but then I also had like the spares so this is a lot better for me to use so I love it. The last thing that is in there is just this little pencil case. It has my enamel pins on there which I do not have a lot. Out of it is my fuse tool and then also some brush pens. Then the last thing on my desk is the drawer. So in the drawer I have my sequin storage. 
My sequins are stored in this five clear tray. This thing was from AliExpress. You know those like new user deals where it's like get it for one cent. So that's what I got. Um, and it just has all my sequins in it. So they're color sorted. So it's pink, gold, blue, greens, fillers, which is like whites mostly, and then multicolored. I do have a couple of packs that don't fit because I just went a little bit sequin crazy and bought a lot of them. So they are just sitting in the drawer until I kind of empty some of these out. I did just finished my old sequins mix, so I should be able to make a dent in this by making a new sequins mix. I have this pink container here, which used to store all my pens. Now it's just kind of a place to put stuff if I need a new home for it. I have my storage for all of my jump rings and then like lobster clasps. Then I have my larger eyelets, color sorted, and then my mini eyelets, color sorted. This container here is just different these that I'm using to make a dangle at the moment, so I just kept it in here. And then in this container I have bling and just random stuff. There's a new phone screen for me as well. So I just have bling, jump rings, more bling, paper clips, and then tables. My desk. Um, everything that I keep on my desk is things that I use every time I'm crafting because they're just the favorite things that I like to reach for. Next we're gonna look at my rolly cart, which is over here which holds the majority of my supplies. So my paper, my ephemera, my thickers, all the stuff. So I'm gonna show you that now. So on the top of my rolly cart is my container, which is where I put all my scraps. So I have scrap paper, just a whole bunch of random stuff in here. This is basically just scraps. On top of that is sitting these 12 by 12 papers, which are go with my kit that I'm currently working on, which is for my Bash Your Stash series. So in here is where I keep that kit. I don't often kind of work like this. Like I would normally pull from different things, but because I'm really trying to use up these supplies, these have supplies in it that I've had for years and I'm really trying to use them up. Sorry for the glare over there. So I'm really trying to use them up. So they just sit on the top there. The container that they're in is from a $2 store. It's just a clear plastic 12 by 12 container. On the side here, on the side here, I have two little containers hanging off the side. I have a wire basket from Daiso that just holds baby wipes. Very useful when you're crafting and doing mixed media. So I do use those all the time. Then I also have this white container, which is from Ikea. They're meant to go on the, um, Rascog carts, which I used to have a mini Rascog, but I don't anymore. So now it just hangs off the side there and that just has my small collection of washi. I basically just use washi to hold stuff down. Yeah, like lots of people, washi is a beautiful idea, but it's very hard to use. Okay, so here's the carts. I have three large ones and six smaller ones. So I'm gonna show you the larger ones first. Down the bottom is where we're gonna start. So in here is where I store basically a lot of paper and things. So I have Colored 8.5 by 11, white 8.5 by 11, layering, so this is like doilies, tissue paper, crepe paper, all those types of things. Packaging, which is bags, basically just bags for things. And then my 8.5 by 11 glitter. I'm sorry if you can hear random noises. It is my dog. If you want a more like in-depth version of this, like you want to see everything or you want to see um, what's inside, so see what supplies I actually have, let me know. Then the next one up is my thickers. So just a collection of thickers and alphas. I started crafting by doing layouts. I've been doing layouts like traditional scrapbooking um, for about seven years now. I started when I was 16. Uh, I'm now 23. So that is where that came from. A lot of those things I've had for many, many years. I still do scrapbooking. It's just filming scrapbooking videos are really difficult and I find that they're not as popular. So that's why I don't make them as often. But if you would like to see some more scrapbooking process videos, or scrapbooking layout chairs on my channel, please let me know and I'll be happy to film them for you. And the next one up is trim. So, 
in my trim container I have these uh, spools of ribbon here which I try to have it so that I can just turn it like that which it does work for most of them but some of them aren't open like that's not opened nor is the that one there because I just haven't used them yet this one here is really hard to use then all of the trims this is this white plasticky thing here this is an underwear storage that I got from the reject store and I just trimmed it so it fit in the container I'll just take the tool out of the way so it looks like this so it's just got some ribbon in there that I don't use as often and then other things so like pom-pom trim lace this is a baggie of gold gold trims um that really popular one that went around for ages that I bought heaps of and then never used I do use the gold, it's just the other colours I bought. I thought I'd use them, but I don't. So I need to need to force myself to use them more often. Lots of pom-pom trim. I bought like 20 yards of it, so like it's never ending. But I did use all of the pink pink and a lot of the white as well. So I do need to use the other colours. I try to keep things with the colours. So like the purple section, the green section, the white section. I don't really have anything other than yellow and then the pink is kind of just everywhere so that is my trim and then I just sit my tool on top so I have this tool here which is kind of like a fishnetty tool I do really like this it's just I use this for texture on things it's really nice it's from a two dollar store then I have this one here which is like a nice whimsical looking one very cute and then I just got this one recently which is a pink one from the rejects oh sorry from AliExpress I think it was about three dollars for 25 yards so as you can see there is a lot in there and then it's got this like nice um, speckling of silver like sequins so they're very cute so we'll go from the bottom again down the bottom is uh, just random stuff so I've got this like wool it's called wool felt I use it to make like they're like little cotton candy embellishments they look so beautiful um, but I also have seen people like to make little hearts with them. So I do want to try that. I have my roll of acetate. This is a cake roll. It's what you put around cakes. Um, so I use this to make shakers. I have a set of pillow boxes, which I put Christmas mixes in. This roll of pink felt. Mini wooden dowels. My stamens for flowers. All of my crepe paper rolls. And then this is just some confetti. Um, for packaging this does need to go somewhere else because I do have my packaging in a different spot so I'm actually going to move that and the next drawer up is a little bit empty but I'm happy because this is where I can put my new stuff um, I have containers of paper straws these two were both gifted to me and then this one I bought my these two I bought myself I don't use them very often so I'm thinking I'm going to give some of them and I have all my fabric um leaves in here as well and then just a lonely heart punch because it's the only place that it fits then the next one up is my stickers all of my stickers this thing is chopped full of stickers this is things that i've collected over the years lots of different things if you want to see a video of all of my stickers i'd be happy to show you um so they're all from different collections and I just put them all in here because it's just the way I like to do things. I like to sort things by kind of product, you'll notice. So like stickers were here. And then this is my Project Life drawer. So it's got all my Project Life cards. So they're sorted into 6x4s and then 3x4s. These are just a whole bunch of labels that I have in bags. I also have two little heart punches because I use them in Project Life. I don't use them in anything else. I have a month stamp here. So if I flip it over, that's what they look like. I got it in a kit. Then I have some more 3 by 4 Then I have some more 3 by 4 cards because they didn't fit. I have some tags, some tags, and then some little stamps. They're the only real stamps that I have because I... I'm just not a stamper. Then the next one up is where I have put my unopened ephemera and also my bows. 
for my bows I store in here. These are all my fabric bows. This is just a bag from Daiso. And then unopened ephemera. So I only have, I think, a collection of unopened ephemera. So I've got these vellum florals, this collection of ephemera, and then these vellum florals. It's just the packet ripped when I bought it, but I haven't used them yet. And then at the top is where I store my paper pads, like my mini paper pads. So I've got Garden Party, Maggie, and yeah, so Heritage, Heritage, um, what is that? Sweet Story, and then this Amy Tan one, which I barely ever use. Then just random 6x6 ones from the Rejects Run Kmart, so there's that one, that one. That's the one that matches the new ephemera that I have. It was gifted to me. And then that. So that is the paper pads that I have. So as you can see, I don't actually have that much stuff uh, in comparison to like other crafters out there. I really believe in using what you have before you buy it, which is why I've got my bash your stash kit up there because I want to use up stuff before I buy anything new. The only things that I really buy regularly is... Um, like double sided tape and um, like dies because I'm really big into die cutting at the moment so I've been buying those but yeah I don't I don't like to buy stuff that regularly anymore a lot of the things that I have are either given to me or things that I'm replacing so like the other day I had a haul and I bought paint markers and things because I was replacing the ones that I had because I had used them all up so that is a big thing that I like to do. The next thing I'm going to show you is my cube unit. Okay, so this right here is my cube unit. This is kind of the stuff that's not necessarily paper crafting. It's kind of other crafting. So I have like my mixed media supplies here, my fabric and yarn supplies. And then um, I also have like fabric paint and kind of other crafts like wax melts and stuff. So I'm going to go through each of them. I'm going to start with this one here, which is where I keep all my spare stuff. This is my container of spare stuff. I just put it in here like if I have doubles of things or things that I like to have extras of. So like I have extra hot glue, a giant container of spare paper clips, extra double sided tape, extra sticky tape, extra glue, the rest of the silicon mat, my spare dark storage, spare pom poms, spare baggies, spare flowers, spare paint containers, spare velcro. Um, more spare glue, more spare glue, and then these are those spare beads that I was talking about. So they just go in there. I find that it's easier for me to just put it all in one spot because, like, if I ever run out of double-sided tape, I know that I have, like, five packets in there. I buy them for, like, ten packets at once and it will last me, like, it'll last me months, so that's why I do that. The one beside that is my mixed media container. So in my mixed media container sitting on top is my uh, seeker, uh, sorry, my stencils. So like that's just got all of my stencils in it. I used to be really big into mixed media. Um, I, I don't know why I stopped. I should really get back into it. So I've got my stencils. Then I've got my inks, my paint brushes, my hair dryer. Uh, I've got my gesso, my modeling paste and my, it's like a clear modeling paste. And this container here is all of my paint tubes. Then I've got like a spare red, a bronze, a gold. And this is canvas paper. I use this sometimes to paint on, but I also, if I can get it out. I was I had an idea that, because I want to do another 100 day project, that I could fold this and use this as a page. So like an actual page that's meant for painting. That was an idea that I had. I also have my, this is like what my water container, underneath it is my watercolours and then I have some, these are like foam sponges, so this is what I use for my white paint for like stencils and then this is the one that I use for like black paint for my stencils, they're really the only colours I use. I have my dirty paint palette that I need to clean, my a spare paint palette and then this is a container of like rainbow colours that I mixed. Um, I used it for a layout and then I've just never used it again, so I probably should clean it out. Then right down the very bottom here, right there is my Nuvo Mousse. I love that stuff. It is amazing. I bought it 
years ago and I'm still using it up and I use it all the time because it just lasts. Now we're up to the top section. This one here is where I keep like my fabric and stuff. So I also keep a cord just so it's next to the, the thing. Then I have just fabric scraps. I've got my yarn. I've got this rope and then my pom-pom makers, so they all sit in there. Last one, which is this giant one here, which is kind of like where I put random craft stuff. So like in here I have all of my fabric paint and my squishies. I started watching people do like squishy makeovers and I thought it was really cool that I'd try it myself. Like, you know, I still need practice. Like this one never got finished because the paint that I bought, it's very like sticky and it doesn't, I think, I don't know. It's just, it's very sticky. So I've got all that there, and then that's fabric glue. Then over this side, that's a giant squishy that I was making. I've got um, some air dried clay, some makeup sponges. Down the very bottom in that pink container is my wax melt, and then I have all of my glitter, and then my resin underneath that. So that's in that container. And that one, if we pan up from there, is where I keep my Cricut. I have a Cricut Explore Air 2. I have it in purple because I just love purple um all I have to do when I'm die cutting is just pull it to the very edge and then it's got a perfect amount of room behind that is a tapestry that my mum made when I was a kid like a baby baby um so it just sits there because I can't hang it on the wall because I'm renting and I have this little decor section the clipboard was made for me by a um, happy mail pen pal that I have Catherine then I have a little clock and then these three heart storage dishes if we pan over just a little bit, these boxes, I am doing four swaps at the moment and that is my own fault. I wanted to do some swaps so I just agreed for doing four. The one at the top is a completed swap. So I will always have a box sitting on the top there which is the swap that I'm working on but I am working on four at the moment. That box is completed. This box is completed. I just need to sort out those beads because I'm sending them to her. Then this swap and this swap I'm still working on, so I need to keep adding to them. So they just sit over there in the corner. Home stretch now. This is a just a shelving unit that I have, which is where I keep all my albums. So they're sorted in my way of doing it. So I've got, everything starts at 2015, which is when, like I started doing it consistently. So 2015 album, 2016, 2017 A, 2017 B, 18 that little um post bound one over there is i thought i'd move for you the post bound album here is my formal and then the post bound blue one there is like albums pre 2015 so that album is where i started crafting so that has like um baby ones and then just kind of photos throughout my life so then if we pan up here, we have other albums. So 2019, 2020, A, 2020, B, 2021. This is a spare album. Then I have my album that I made for one of my crews, my December Daily, which looks disgusting. And then I have the December Daily that I was doing in 2020, but I didn't end up finishing because I moved. So I will be doing it for 2021. Then the red album is where I keep all of my page protectors. So every spare page protector that I have is in that red album. Then just behind it, I have some more spare albums. Uh, they're all like mini albums because I used to be a big mini album person. That's how I started doing scrapbooking years and years and years ago. I don't have any of them left because, you know, they weren't, they weren't archival back then, which is when I went to doing layouts, which is more archival. Um, so I do have a spare album from way back when that I started doing mini albums. Then let's pen at the top. And lastly at the top is these two drawers. So basically how they work is finished projects that I'm going to film like project shares on or things that I'm not sure what I made them for. So like right now I have one thing in there, which you will see this in a project share soon. And then this one is projects in progress. I don't often have this much in here, but the other day when I went through my stuff and cleaned before I filmed this um, I found a lot of stuff that I put and I thought oh I need to use that up so they're all in here a lot of it is finished I just need to package it up before it goes in here 
Then at the top, I just have some decor stuff. So this is a mini album that was sent to me um, by a pen pal. Then I have my sewing machine that I made. I love this thing so much. It looks gorgeous, just beautiful. Then I have this uh, mini album that I made. These are the little cotton candy embellishments that I was talking about. They just look so gorgeous. I do really love this um, mini album here. And then on the side, it's got like little charms on there. I never finished it because I started making it and realized that all the pages are going to be really, really thin. So I will, I will finish it eventually, but right now it's just a nice decor piece that sits there. Then I also have these containers of wood veneer. Now the reason they're out is because I have a layout idea that I want to film to use them up because I have so much wood veneer that I just have never, ever, ever used. I used to use this little container here on every layout, which I still do, but I don't do layouts all the time. Like I will do layouts probably once a month. So this only gets pulled out about once a month. And these two are just spare stuff. So I really want to use these two containers of wood veneer so I can get rid of them because they're just sitting here taking up space. The last spot that I have any craft supplies is this container here which has bought goodies that I send people in swaps. That pink pineapple container is my packaging. So that's all of my like shred and tissue paper that I use for packaging. And then the Paris container has all my Christmas stuff. I do want to get just a red Christmassy looking box to put the Christmas stuff in just because I think it'll be easier to know. So that is the last two things. Okay, so here I am back at the door. I hope you guys enjoyed my craft room tour. I'm very lucky to have a craft room. I do know that. Um, I used to have just a craft space. It was a desk in my bedroom, but now that I have moved, I actually am very fortunate to have a whole craft room. So I'm super lucky. I do know that. If you wanna see any in-depth things or like wonder what specifically supplies I have, please let me know and I'll be happy to share that with you. But I hope you enjoyed my craft room tour. Remember to subscribe and like, and before we go, you can say hi to Leo. Hi. Okay, thanks for watching guys, bye.